Okay, Mr. Smith, did you understand the rights that I just went over with you? Yes, sir. Do you have to have an attorney in this matter? You understand you're entitled to an attorney. You also understand that this is charged as a special circumstance case, and you could potentially get the death penalty. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. And you're saying that you do not want to have an attorney in this matter? No, sir. And a judge cannot force an attorney down the throat of a defendant. A defendant says he wants to be his own attorney and he has that right as long as he's capable of representing himself. doesn't mean he has to be a lawyer or even be educated or anything. understands the basic concepts. He has that constitutional right to represent himself. I detected no hesitation and it sounds to me like he may have given this a lot of thought since he spent the rest of his life. certainly have a constitutional right to represent, to represent yourself, but I can tell you on the nature of this case, it's probably not advisable. Do you understand that? Okay, well, I'm going to go through the complaint. You're charged with count one with a violation of Penal Code Section 187, willful and deliberate premeditated murder of one uh, William Mager. Do you understand the charge? Yes, sir. They also allege that pursuant to 190.283 special circumstances, i.e., there's multiple murders. Do you understand that? So the defendant is charged with two counts of murder, an 84-year-old man and his son, two counts of attempted murder, the woman that he knew and that woman's new boyfriend or fiancé, and several counts of robbery connected with the murder counts, false imprisonment having to do with detaining someone for a short period, kidnapping having to do with detaining someone and moving them for a short distance, and ex-con in possession of a gun, and I think the use of certain types of weapons, assault weapons. The two individuals that are alleged as the victims in the murder counts are also the victims in the robbery count. So you can put those facts together and come to your own conclusion that robbery played at least a partial motive in the, in the events in this case. But it's not the complete motive. 